get my hands on some of the new Made by Mitchell makeup. Like he's been coming out with a lot of products. I picked up the things that I was most excited about or that I thought was gonna be like the most interesting and I'm just gonna try it out on my face today for you. Share my first impression thoughts, so let's get into it. All right, so one of the things I said I was gonna buy and then I'm very like excited to try that looks really cute is the mini blush book or blurge book. So this is officially called the Blurred Pressed 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 Blusher Palette. And I got the one in Living in Pink. So this one has a lot of cute pink shades. It's a little hard to hold up. Like, okay. Okay, I'm, I'm succeeding. And we have two deeper pinks. A, one of them is a little bit more of a berry. The other one is really like a bright berry pink. And then we have a peachy pink and a cool toned lighter pink. These swatch really smoothly, really nicely. I have to compliment the packaging. Like it's, it's a little bulky, but it's also for blushes. But it looks just super cute. It feels like Barbie. Like this is a Barbie accessory. Like, like I just bought a Barbie and it had this little thing with it. I don't know, but it's looking super, super cute. I really like the way this is done. Like, it's compact in a way. Like, it's for blushes. So we are going to be trying these out. I'm going to start out with... This is going to be hard to hold up in this video. I'm going to start out with a blush called Paris, which is more of that berry shade and I did apply a little bit of the curve case as my bronzer so that is that bronzy glow you're seeing on my face and the liners that I'm wearing those are from the poolside collection that I just filmed the video with if you want to know what is going on on my eyes I am gonna take the cinch f06 because I feel like this is gonna be a little bit more on the pigmented side and it picks up a lot and I'm gonna place it down and hope it's not gonna be too pigmented for me. I feel like I've been struggling a little bit with my makeup lately. Like not everything has been looking great. And sometimes I don't really know what it is. Is it a new product that's not working? Is my skin changing? My skin is changing and that's making it a little bit more difficult. Like, one dip of this is actually going really well. I'm gonna zoom you in a little. All right, so this was one dip. I think this is looking really great. I feel like this is blending really nicely on top of that cream bronzer. And it gave it a little bit of a glow, but I don't feel like these blushes are actually glowy. Like they seem definitely more like a matte blush in a swatch as well. So let's see if we can do that again on the other side. Sometimes one side looks really good and then the other side looks like not so good i feel like that's looking cute like i just i didn't apply it too like strongly with a lot of pigment i just dipped in once but that is possible but because i also want to try one of the lighter blushes like to mix that in but i feel like this is going to be very versatile because like these are pigmented but i can apply them like this all right, let's take the one in Sugar Cube. Sugar Cube with the same brush also picks up a lot. And I'm just gonna apply that over top. Yeah, I feel like that shade is making this all look a lot brighter. That's cute. Now let's do that on the other side. When it comes to matte blushes, I am looking for something that is gonna make the skin like look perfected and blurred. And I feel like these are looking quite good. That is looking nice and flattering. Yeah, I feel like that is looking smooth. Okay, we are not having an issue today, luckily. I'm gonna do a little bit of blending the edges, like so. All right, all right. I think this is a nice blush formula and I think it's really nice that it can be combined this easily with the cream products because it does kind of like set it a little bit. Like the cream products by Made by Mitchell, they are a little bit on the tacky side. Like they're not super, super sticky on my dry skin, but they are a little tacky. Depends kind of how you blend them, how you use them. Like if you swipe them on a little bit more and blend them with a clean brush, they can 
like they can become less sticky but if you just like dab them on kind of like more precise they stay a little bit sticky but this is like working well together i'm glad that i tried it together all right and the next product is gonna be the slip do by made by mitchell i have a feeling that i said in my new makeup releases video that i didn't need this and i do not need this because i just bought the comet case but i saw the photo on the website and i was just like mm, that is looking really pretty like just look at this and it isn't as deep as it looks in the pan you'll see it in a swatch this is more of a sheer with a slight hint of a tint balmy highlighter i've been getting into balmy products because of made by mitchell and because my skin Nowadays is even drier than it used to be. I don't know what it is. It's also not, it hasn't been like super summery in the Netherlands. So I feel like that's also a factor, but I just feel like there's a place in my collection for balmy product because I have such dry skin. And yeah, this looks very interesting. This is the Slip Do Cream Highlighter in Rose Bling. I have a feeling that it's gonna be a little bit more balmy feeling and then in the Comet case. Like it feels a little different. I'm gonna I'm gonna put my finger in the comet case and like feel feel how it feels. Yeah, the comet case. I don't know. Feels a little bit more sticky, maybe like a little bit more creamy. I'm gonna like does it? Yeah, it's a little bit more sticky. This one is a little bit more balmy, but. Like both formulas are very sheer, creamy feeling products. I think the difference might be like kind of minimal, but we're going to try it on the face. And I'm just going to pat this kind of on the high points of my face with my finger. I'm a little scared that it's going to lift this whole situation. So I'm going to pat that on top. Is it sticky? Yes. Is it balmy? Yes. Does it look pretty? Also, yes, I just took a little bit, okay? I'm just gonna see how that develops. Like this is without the highlighter. We already have a little bit of glow from the bronzer going on and this is with the highlighter. Uh, I don't think this is gonna dry down, but I'm gonna let that sit for a little bit and then feel if it has set. Could this also be like a good base for an like a powder highlight or it could be it does look really nice and hydrated and that slight base color that this has i don't feel like it's too deep on me i feel like that's i feel like it's working like when you when you shear that out a little bit okay dabbing it with my finger i don't feel like that lifted anything and i feel like my cheeks are looking quite nice should i apply a little on the forehead just to see if it's too deep for that or if that works. Yeah, I do really have to shear that out for the forehead, but it works, I think. Does it? Sometimes it's hard to see in this lighting. And then I watch back the footage and I'm like, hmm, no, that's too deep. Okay, I do have to say, I think this looks really beautiful. It's very flattering and it just looks, <laughs> it just looks so plump. My skin is looking less dry. Okay, let's feel it. Yeah, it's gonna be sticky. I think this is gonna be sticky. I don't know if my hair is gonna like stick to it. Yes, <laughs> it's, it's, it is sticky. Okay, now you know, it is very sticky. The last product that I wanted to try from Made by Mitchell is the Modern Melt New Lip Products. To me, this is kind of like a mysterious lip product. I haven't really seen an explanation that made me understand what this is. So I decided to buy two shades, a lighter one and a slightly deeper one. And we're gonna, like, I'm gonna tell you what this is. I am ready to know what is going on here. These are kind of like this shaky ball thing. And they do really seem, it's kind of like, how do you call this in English? Not a pen, not a pencil. I need to know. Oh, a marker. It's like a marker. The kind of vibe. Okay, I'm gonna take off the gloss that I'm wearing. Okay, my lips are dry. Let's start with the lighter shade. The lighter shade that I have here is called To Peach Their Own, but it seems to me kind of like a light pinkish with a slight peachy undertone lip color. And yeah, let's shake it just to be sure. It doesn't really say, but seems like something you have to shake. They call it a liquid lip liner, but it doesn't say shake well before use or anything like that. 
Okay, let's see. That's very liquidy. That's a pink, right? It seems pink. I don't know what to think. I don't know what's going on here. I feel like these lip products do need a little bit of a like user manual. I don't really understand how to use this. It looks a little blotchy now as well. Can I fill that in? Should I use this more like an actual lip liner? Now I like use it to fill in my whole lips. But I have seen Made by Mitchell like do that. I've seen him do that. Okay, now it looks better that I filled it in a little more. Oh, it doesn't seem like the easiest product. Or maybe it's the color. The color that I got. Okay, I'm gonna give this a minute to dry. This is very sticky and it's looking very uneven. This is not looking good. Yeah, I don't like this. I don't like this on its... Like, I don't like this all over the lips. Maybe I'll like it as a lip liner, but this is not working out for me. It's so sticky. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't understand. Where's the explanation? Where? How should I use this? Okay, it says it's a water-based formula to stain your lip with intense pigment. It is a weightless feel with a rich color payoff. It dries in seconds, leaving a weightless contoured lip base. You can also fill in your entire lip. I don't, I don't really understand it. I'm gonna take it off and see if it has stained my lips. Has it? I don't really think so. Okay, I don't know what I have done wrong. I shook it. I I did the shaking. Okay, let's try the other one. Maybe the other one is better. This shade is on mute. This is a little bit more of a mauve deeper tone. Maybe this is gonna be better. So let's just shake this again. I'm gonna apply it just as a lip liner first. Just to see. Well, it has been three seconds and it still feels wet. I'm gonna let this dry. It's a nice color, but... Okay, now it seems to have dried down. I like this one as a lip liner, it's looking good. Seems transfer proof, right? Yeah. Should I try to fill in the lips one more time? Maybe it's just that other color. Maybe it's too light for my lips. This one is looking so much better already. Maybe it was just a color issue. Gonna let that sit for a little. I think it looks quite nice on the lips. It's a beautiful shade. I just added a little bit more around the lips to like fix the shape a little bit. I wasn't totally happy with this shape. But it's still very sticky. This is not a weightless feeling. And once you rub your lips together, it becomes super patchy. Like that's just removing everything from the middle of my lips. So I would not recommend these as like a like full-on lip product, like all over the lips. I don't think that's working out. I think it's an interesting product to have as an actual lip liner just around the lips. I think that could work because it is transfer proof. I would have to do I would have to do a little bit of a wear test with that, but I think that is possible and maybe that is something, but I feel like there are easier products on the market. I am gonna apply a little bit of a gloss. I'm gonna take this Maybelline Lifter gloss. I'm trying this out for the first time. I know. I'm late to the party. This one is in the shade. It doesn't say oh, it's 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 on the top. 003 Moon. So, this has dried down. I think this could be something. I think this could work because it's transfer proof and then you put the gloss on top and then you don't have the stickiness that takes it off from your lips. So I think I'll actually like it as a outer lip liner, just a lip liner. Or in the gloss. Yeah, I really think this could work. So this is gonna be the finished look. I definitely have some mixed feelings. What I did like was a blush book. So far, I think these blushes are really cute and it worked well, they blended well, they are buildable. Like you can take a little, you can take a lot. I feel like you can really build them up to have a high, high pigment. If you are a deeper skin tone, then the slip dew, it looks really pretty. I love the look of it, but it is sticky. Like it's gonna remain sticky. My hair is still able to stick to it like after a little bit. So I might use this for filming because now I'm not like walking outside in the wind and the wind is blowing my hair in my face and then it's getting stuck. 
I feel like this does have some place in my collection because I do really like the look of it. But I feel like in general with Made by Mitchell, you kind of have to accept a little bit of stickiness or like a little bit of stickiness or balminess. And then these modern melts. I can't say that they weren't what I was expecting because I didn't really know what to expect. Like I'm trying these out because I need to know what's going on. I feel like there are gonna be ways that I will like to use these, but maybe in the end I'm still gonna feel like a regular old lip liner is my preferred formula. Like these are a little weird. And then that's gonna be everything for today's video. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye bye!